Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a tanning video. I do have the video on the Bondi Sands Arrow in Ultra Dark and I will be linking that up here. But after having tried this, I really was very curious to trying self tanners in general. Now I was lucky enough to be gifted this little set right here. It's a Saint Tropez Ashley Graham collection and it just comes with a facial mist, their express mousse and a velvet mitt. So here's the velvet mitt. To be honest, I'm not very impressed by it but i think i'll be able to use it no problems it comes with this facial mist as well this is a bronzing facial mist and i do have a video on this it's a very interesting product i will be linking that up here as well for you to watch go watch it and finally the famed express mousse this is the advanced 1r tan self tan express bronzing mousse so the levels change based on how many hours you want it to stay on your skin there's one hour for light two hours for medium and three hours for dark i'm gonna go three hours for dark just because the bondi sense arrow in ultra dark was not as dark as i expected it and the thing is i applied two layers of this so i'm not expecting this to be very dark as well so we'll go with the three hour mark for this so i will be wearing the tan for a week and at the end of the week we will come back and see how it faded just like I did for the video on the Bondi Sands. Now it is currently around 7.30 in the evening. I will have to prep my skin, take the shower, do the exfoliations and the moisturizing before I put this tan on, but I will see you then. Later that night, we're gonna work our way up. I just read somewhere that it avoids from creasing in the stomach area. So we're gonna try this. It's actually pretty late. It's 12 o'clock a.m. It smells a little different. It doesn't smell like coconuts in summer. I prefer the Bondi Sand smell. Okay, so I finished applying it, and I have to say, it's so much easier to apply the one hour express tan versus the Bondi Sands. For some reason, it's just so much smoother, and I think it's just because it's a little bit more liquidy versus the mousse of the arrow. And that's why my experience spreading this around it was so much faster and also so much smoother. So time check, it is 12 11 so it took me like 11 12 minutes to put all of this on i hope i didn't miss anything i feel like i didn't i was so sad when i realized that my mic was not connected to my camera so this is me post sahar i'm just saying here that i actually fell asleep so i slept in this for about 12 hours and you can see the tan has developed pretty much i still need to take a shower and rinse any of the excess tan off as i'm explaining here which you can't here of course there was a smell that i did not like while this was developing it was a tan smell that i did not enjoy unlike the bondi sands one which had a beautiful coconut smell all throughout this one had a tan developing smell so here i'm saying that my hands look different they're very messy and i blame this totally on the mitt because i didn't have this much of a problem with the bondi sands i am very impressed with this unlike the bondi sands this does not have any streakiness on the inside of the elbow area the smell has faded after the developing process and it's actually gone once you shower it off you can't really smell it on your skin anymore after the developing this is how it looks like versus pre-tan and then after showering it looks beautiful i love the color i think this is my most natural color yet but again i've only tried two tanning mousses at this point hey everyone so it has been a week since i applied the sancho pay self tan express and i want to show you what is happening to my skin now first of all let me just say this color is my favorite i did keep this for more than the recommended three hours for a dark tan and it's just so beautiful and golden and i just i don't know my skin just looks so naturally tan with this on so i have to say color right away 10 out of 10 also the application was so much smoother than the arrow it's weird because i didn't expect it to be that smooth i felt like the arrow was a little bit thicker and it was harder to spread out application was a breeze it was so quick so i am impressed with this i remember the arrow i had some weird like circles here on on my arms with this nothing nothing not a thing it's been a week and i still am looking good it's a little bit patchy let me just say especially around the watch area which was also my problem with the arrow 
So wherever I wore my watch, I do see like fading, but again, it isn't as bad as the arrow one. I do notice that there is a fading mark. I can't show you, but there's a fading mark right down my chest here. It is faded pretty much, but I don't mind because it's an area that I don't really show off anyway. Overall, like 10 out of 10, I am so impressed by this. I'm really shocked that I like this so much and I will be doing this again this weekend. I would like to see more of Saint Tropez stuff now that I've tried this. I'm really excited to trying more and I'm so excited to try this again. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!